are you doing uh, this evening? <laughs> But, um, so I guess I would start with, for the session, um, um, let me look over your, the, the questions I had for the, uh, the tutor session questions to see what we can start with. Let me grab those. All right, Menify, can you let me, like, bring up this session, please? Um... Good luck. Do after perfect power, flow charts for blue, green especially, spacing options, throw combos. Okay. Alright, alright, so some basic stuff here. Um, if you want to start us off in training mode, or switch it to training mode, and then, uh... I guess I will also pick Urda if you're going, you know, obviously going to want to do Urda stuff. Um, yeah, we can do that. Otherwise, I'll just wait to hear back from you then. Uh, I, I guess I should be looking over at their stream. Hold on. Let me try to bring that up. It's probably a lot of work for them to have to go between. No, that's fine. I mean, I can bring it up. I just, uh... I just want to make it whatever's easier. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if I would recommend some other coaches to go to uh, after this, um, I would recommend you book House. Uh, he's a Erda, he's a specifically an Erda coach and Starman. They're both really good uh, Erda players that um, uh, are also doing Metafy coaching. So, if I would give you any other person to pass you over, like to pass you over to, that who does Erda specifically, those two would be one of the two that I would highly recommend, or like the two I highly recommend. Yeah, House is a cool guy, and uh, Starman's a new tutor, but he's a good Erda player, so he has all of that tech down. <laughs> so, oh, okay. So, if we're talking about... Let me grab the thing again. I'll try not to... Alright, so... What, what do you normally do for, like... You're neutral, basically. Like, what do you what do you know, uh, for in terms of like spacing and uh, what do you normally throw out? Like, I'm just trying to get an idea of what your neutral's looking like because it changed now a little bit because this is so much faster than before. This is way faster than it used to be. So you can actually use this as a neutral tool now. Um, one of your biggest options is is this move. Up tilt is really good because you can slide with it and it covers a wide distance. It smacks people out of the air really easily and you can combo off of it usually. So like, you can do like... It also can be charged. You can do it into like forward air and stuff like that. But otherwise down tilt is sort of the same way where you can do like... I know I've seen uh... Ha yeah, like that. You can you can do stuff like that. You can actually confirm it like that if you try to do super jump. Yeah, so if they tech in correctly and you can land it, like after practicing it, it's like really good. Like that. 
That's really good. <laughs> I know Starman does that a lot to me. It gets me every time. So you can get short confirms like down tilt in the forward air and up tilt into yeah, stuff like that. Well, if you're getting a regular grab, I would recommend, uh, if you're going for a combo thing, uh, you just use down throw. Cause it combos into basically every- like, everything that she can do. It's a really good combo throw. The other throws are more kill mo kill throws than anything. You just have to slide with it, cause they get sent forward, so you just have to do that. Up throw can be good too. Yeah, see, you got it. You got it. Up throw is good in, like, you can super jump and then try to get that, but, uh... So, um... Is there any, like, specific questions? Let me look over the, the stuff to see if I can get, uh... Forward tilt's pretty good for popping people up. I know that forward air is really good in neutral just in general, but... Because it's just, like, it, it hits so far. There's nothing wrong with using it, just keep in mind that people can parry it, and then it's, like, very unsafe when that happens. How can I grab a combo of blue, but also get another grab? Oh, okay. Uh, if you're talking about that, then you can do stuff like... Or, um... I think it'd just be jab. So you just want to do, like, down tilter. But I think it's if it's at... Oh, wait, we're not in training mode. Shoot. If I was on training mode, I could just switch the... He like, so can we, um, next time let's switch into training mode? Because I can, uh, change up the, um... Yeah. Because I'll have buttons that let me determine the health for, like, combos and stuff. So if you want to practice, like, specific bands, I can keep setting it to the specific health you want to practice with. And then, you know, we can try doing, like, getting you different basic confirms and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. No problem. Just pick whatever stage you'd like. Do I not love the power forms in Forbidden Shrine? Um, they did make it so you can fast fall through platforms now, but I don't know if you can do it while holding the charge of an aerial. So the way that you might have to do it with Urda as of currently until they maybe make that a possibility in the future would just be like you can't hold aerials when you're above the platform, basically. Otherwise you'll end up uh, not being able to fall through with them. Three, two, one, I mean, you can short hop, but like, yeah, you can't like do this, unfortunately, because of like the way it works. You can try like doing short like that. If you just tap the jump button, you can get these short hops, and then short hops just let you do things underneath the platform like this. But also up tilts, you know, once again, very good. And you can do stuff like that, but... So, you were talking about... Oh, you the host, that's right. Okay, so if you want to practice blue, uh, hit... You can hit on the number keys to update health. Yeah, there you go. So you're, you're the host, so I, I can't actually do it, but... So if you're going for a grab confirm, you want to uh, do down throw, sort of like that. Uh, I'm not as good as it, you know, as uh, some other people are, obviously, but that's the most basic way I can say to do it. If 
It's usually about re-standing somebody and... Yeah, okay. Well, that's a confirm. <laughs> Okay, so... You can... S uh, one thing I noticed that you're doing... You can spark uh, this. Or like, you can spark... You can spark this along with this. So like, if you do this... You can spark that. You're, you, so you're waiting until they get sent launched. You can actually spark cancel it to make it do it faster. So like you'll grab somebody and then yeah, there you go. There you got it. Right there. That's that's great. That's exactly what you want to do. You can't really do it off of cargo throws. You have to do it, um, that's just with the neutral version of the like without pressing a cargo throw direction, that's just how you do that. The cargo throw directions specifically are usually pretty good if you want to get somebody off of like ledge and then cause an option, so. I don't know, the way that Milo's always done it to me is, uh, if you grab with... Show me the best percentage combos. Okay. Alright. I'm not the best at Urda, so I'm not gonna get, like, the stuff that, like, maybe Starman or House would get, but... <laughs> Damn it. So, did you want to know what, um, what was going on with that? <laughs> okay, so what happened there, I believe, was just if you press. A instead of B when you're when you're in this jump it'll do a spin that counts as a command grab so if you uh ah. yeah and then you can do that But that's also, you know, you press the B version, you get this. You press the A version, you get this. And then you can also do attacks out of it, too. Like, you can do the elbow to try to catch somebody. But that, that specific command throw will always throw someone downwards, like straight down. So you can try to even try to, like, follow it up with, with, uh, with like, a down air or something, too. Yeah, it was oh, okay. That was pretty good. Nice. We're getting some of the basics down. All right, so I tech there on the platform. Coach champ, best coach. All right. Oh, damn. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. now following. Yo, thank you for the follow. Coach champ. Ooh, okay. Almost got me with that. Ooh, nice. Okay, so that forced me to stand. Ooh. So does do you know do you know what's going on when I'm doing that? When like I'm rolling away and stuff like that? Do you do you, do you like you know about the knockdown state and like how you do that? Also, let me look who, who uh, followed me. Yo, thank you guys so much for the follows. I really do appreciate it. Dolphin fins. Normally silent. Appreciate you stopping by. Um, ooh, nice. Okay, I wasn't actually pressing anything there. Sorry, I was, I was looking at the chat. But, um... 
so what's happening is this. When you get knocked down, right? If you press sh if you press shield, if you press shield before you hit the ground, um I mean, if you talk in my ch in my specific chat, my Twitch chat, then uh it'll read it to me. So it'll like do a voice for for you. That's up to you though. Like whatever you're more comfortable with. I'm fine coming back to the Discord and reading from the from the private chat too. Yeah, no, that's fine. Like I said, whatever you're you're comfortable with. Um, I'm I'm focusing on you because you're the you're the student right now, which means that I need to focus on you. So that's fine with me. Whatever whatever you want. Um so where are we going over the um Okay, so when you get hit down, you have a few options. If you get knocked down, there, there, so you did a roll there. So you can roll in, you can roll out, or you can do neutral. Or if you press the attack button when you're about to hit, you can do a get up attack. That has invincibility. You can also charge it. If you like, like, so if you like get knocked down, for example. If the press, like, 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 just hit me, I guess. Hit me forward, or. No, just hit, hit me harder. Yeah, so you can charge that. And then if you land it, uh, you have sparks, so you can even combo off of it. Yeah, see? So that's the same as a get-up attack, because get-up attacks also have the same invincibility, and they can also spark. And Erda's get-up attack is really good, because if you press get-up at ledge, she does that entire shoulder charge distance where she's invincible. So if somebody's standing on ledge, you can catch them with this, spark out of it, and then start like a combo string with it. So like, yeah, it was a pretty bad example, but. Something like that, whatever the case may be. Another, um, I would say with the parries, parries are pretty good because of how, uh, just how they work. I would, I would highly recommend, uh, the thing I've been telling a lot of people that are newer players is the, the two most important things about this game, about learning, like just general, uh, is just learning all your movement options and then learning all of your spark options. Because in case you weren't aware, you don't have to just spark out of using rush. So you can spark and then do special move. So you can do spark, up B. You know, like it doesn't have to be rush. It's, you know, spark, special. You know, forward tilt, side B. Or... She sent this on her chat by accident. Oh no, it's fine. What are some safe, smart things to do when they are off ledge? Well, this, okay. When they are off ledge. All right, so this attack right here is very big. <laughs> it's very large and it hits really hard and you can charge it to make it hit even harder. Um, I know that's what a lot of Urtas usually end up using like when somebody's off stage or if they're coming back on stage you can also use side B to try to grab them and then pull them off the ledge if they get up from that. Usually get hit doing what? The down air? Okay, no problem. I feel like I usually get- okay, well, I'm trying to think of uh, a better way to do neutral with Erda offstage. Um, her options are a little limited in terms of just- I mean, this is all- like, if they're off stage, this is always an option, too. And you can cargo grab, I think, with it now, too. So you can, uh, you can do- So, like, look how much space you get from that. Because if they- oh. Oh, I try to t tap you so you can get back. Um, but you have to press spark at the beginning of the the move to do that. So you can do down special to cargo grab, but it also just does that with jab. 
So if you want just 30, if you just want a good amount of damage, yeah, there you go. That's that's the, an easy confirm for 30 plus damage is jab and it's down B. Or down special. It also kill confirms in red. So if you just need to kill somebody very quickly and you can get jab on them, down special would, would do it. If you'd like, uh, what we could do then is once you're like, once you have all your questions answered and stuff like that, we can just play some dittos and I can show you like what I know about the character or like how I play the character. And then maybe you'd be able to get some more questions in your head for that. All right, so let's go back. And I guess what we can do is just start doing friendlies because they're basically the same kind of thing. But it would let us do more just like matches. And then if any questions pop into your head during that, feel free to stop moving and then type to me your question because then I'll see you're not moving and I just won't attack you because the whole point is learning in this session. So good stages. Um, hmm. Surprisingly, I would consider um, Sovereign Peak really good for Erdo because she doesn't have to deal with platforms which means that she can literally come down with forward air anywhere on the stage. Um, Malu Malu's fantastic for Erda because of like the short, um, the short blast zone distances, um, as well as, uh, Shadow Briar's good, but it, it can, uh, be a problem because of, uh, the fact that she has to deal with those platforms. But Shadow Briar has like has out of all the stages in the game, it has the shortest um, blast zone on the sides, which means that she can kill rather easily in that stage. She just has to stay absolutely grounded in it. But we can do Sovereign Peak for right now for friendlies, and then. Oh wow, we picked the same one. By the way, uh, if you're trying to counter me, like, using parry, all you have to do is just not launch the attack. Like, if you try to fake me out for doing parry, I can get punished for, like, trying to do it. You just have to know I'm gonna do it.
Oh, what? Wow, what? <laughs> I just let myself get hit there. Damn it, I accidentally meant to press side B there. Oh, I messed up. Oh, damn it. Oh. I'm running back and getting caught by the throw. Nice, 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 nice. See? That's what I mean by using the edge guard. still works. Oh, I'm trying to parry it when I need to grab. Nice. <laughs> I didn't know I also to get out of that. Uh, that's one thing you can definitely do. I out of that. I missed that. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, I'm messing up my... Oh, that was a really good... <laughs> that was a really close. You deserve that, honestly. Nice fake out. Nice. Oh, shit, I saved you. Nice! That was really good! Wow, I tried to... Yep! <laughs> Sorry, I see a lot of artists do that! I mean, most likely, you just want to try practicing doing that when you're going to grab ledge off of it. Because you can do that without risking your life by just grabbing ledge, but I'm sure that's like what you meant to do.
Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, it's my own fault. I went too deep. I went too deep. Oh, frick. Good, good resets there. Good, 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 uh... Oh, I thought I was dead for a second. Gosh dang it. Freaking burst is broken right now. So that shouldn't be happening, by the way. If I'm when, I'm when I'm going through bursts like that and it's not affecting me, that's just there's something wrong with bursts right now. It's not actually supposed to work that way. I'm hoping Keiko can fix it before the tournament. <gasps> I didn't hit you. Damn it. Oh my god! I didn't expect to get hit clipped by that. I'll be honest. Damn. Alright, good job. So you have to be careful of people DI'ing inward because that's how you get out of those kinds of things. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That was good, that was good. I was trying to go ledge, I messed up. Nice! <gasps> nice! <laughs> Oh no. Hey, I gotta be careful doing that. Nice. Okay, <laughs> I just couldn't get out of that. Oh 
God damn it, I keep trying to parry, and that's a bad idea. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh! <laughs> I think I could have done that without killing myself, but I know, I figured just whatever. Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely- No! Oh. No. no. Oh, that was a nice parry. Oh, I messed it up. I tried to <laughs> Nice! <laughs> uh, Alright, did you have any questions? Uh, based on what we were just doing right there? Like I said, I'm not the best Erda, so these combos I have aren't even, like, necessarily that impressive, in my opinion. But, uh, I'm willing to, like, tell you whatever I can do to help. The orange confirms the kill. Also, how do you not die when grabbing off stage? I do that a lot. Um, so the way I would use it is... The upbeat? If you use up B to start off in your recovery, you can use the A like the A grab thing to like get yourself a little higher up into the air, and then you still have access to uh, to side B as well and rush. So you actually have like two other options, and up B itself is almost big enough that like you can just get back to stage with it alone. So um. I don't know how other orders normally recover, but the way I've been used to doing it... Okay. Alright, sure. We can do that. Do you want to stay on Sovereign Peak, or would you rather do a different stage? I'd like to get the... I'd like to try Combat Lab. Okay. No problem, no problem. Were there any- so another thing that we're gonna- we, I would like to go over before, uh, you know, before we are done. I'm willing to go past time. Oh, by the way, it doesn't have to just be an hour. I do have work tomorrow though, so I, I'm gonna have to leave sometime between, uh, 12 and 1. But it's fine, I'm willing to, uh, to go longer than time. I did that for the last two- the last person I had to, so. How do you come back and how does spark work with jumps? I think super spark versus wall jump and air dodge. Three, okay, no problem. Two, one, um, so right now wall jump does not refresh. You can only do it once. Unless you do, yeah, that burst. Um, otherwise getting hit, anything doesn't refresh your wall jump. So be careful on how you use it. Because you want to use it as like a last resort. Like if you have to use it to get to ledge. 
And you can, but like, you know, you can accidentally do that too, where you just kind of like... The spark refresh air dodge. You mean this? You mean rush? Spark does refresh rush. It refresh- so spark refreshes- Spark refreshes, like, literally everything off stage. So, like, you can refresh your rush. Both of your recovery options will recover. So, like, that's why what was happening was when I was- when you were SDing, all I was doing was I was making sure you couldn't touch me so you couldn't refresh your recovery because if you had hit me, then you would have been able to get back rather easily because all of your recovery options would have been refreshed. So usually sometimes with edge guarding, you can make your opponent overcommit and then kill themselves by using up their options because they think they're going to be able to get Spark to refresh them. Does burst make your rush and- Okay, so so if you are stuck, for example, let me do this. Uh, if I don't grab ledge, let's say I, I mess up. And I already use all my options. Oh no! So I get ref I get rush, wall jump, and then I think as in addition to that, I also get um Let me see about Whoops! <laughs> I did that the wrong direction. Uh Okay, so so all all burst does. I was just confirming that was the case. All burst does is refresh your uh, your rush and wall jump. It doesn't refresh anything else. So like if you're about to die, you want to make sure that whatever you're going to do can save you with just rush and wall like wall jump. Otherwise, it's not worth bursting. But I mean, I guess you'll die anyway. But you know. It's always the best to try to like do it if you accidentally end up uh, off stage in a bad situation just to remember that you can burst because like if you're like this close from ledge you know and you die like that it's kind of bad obviously so uh, if you can remember oh wait I still have access to this you know let me get back to ledge okay uh Oh, whoops, I fell. <laughs> that's a- I would say that's a big thing. Down B is really good for, for stalling in the, in the air. Like, if you- so if you want to, like, sh like, reduce your, like, recovery a little bit, you know, you can stall off let like offside with this. And then you just have so many options. And then of course you can do that too. Oh, and they just they did okay, so they did just change Lariat. It only goes like this now. But uh it goes into double hits, so you can uh do this. I liked it high. Yeah. I think it might be a better combo tool like this though, because the, the aerial version never comboed into itself, and it was very hard to combo with in general. So I think this version is just good for combos because you can do stuff like that. Also, it, it used to spike off of off stage, so this used to be like this used to be the option to like instantly kill somebody as a spike because it used to spike, but this doesn't spike anymore because that was silly. The aerial version's still good. It maybe doesn't spike as hard, I think. It might still spike, maybe not as hard. I don't know what the aerial version- yeah, okay, the aerial version does knock down. It's just not super spike anymore. It used to spike really early. Um, but... I mean, one thing you can definitely do uh, with Erda is like do this like you can grab at ledge to try like so like get get close to me on ledge for example Um, let me try to do this. Oh damn, you can just beat mine. I thought that I could just still do this this way Huh, it doesn't work Yeah, there it is <laughs> So you can get inside with her if you hit somebody with this, but it's actually very difficult to do 
so yeah there you go <laughs> in case you're ever up a stock or whatever and you just want to instantly kill somebody at ledge you can just like like you can jump off and then just try and do that very cheeky or you can just do this So when you get... When you get somebody off stage like that with side B... Yeah. That's one option. Uh, another option, if you do uh, side B and then do down the same option right there... Hold on, let me try this again. Let me... You can do that if they're, you know, going... Uh, trying to jump or whatever but let me try other side b options i know that milo does yeah that used to spike really hard but now it doesn't anymore um so it's not really an option anymore but let me see what else you can do yeah you can just go for the down air i'm bad at it because i'm not good at the side b options uh you can do this I know that uh, Milo specifically uh, hits me with this, and then he'll come down with forward air if I try to hold out. So if you... Higher percentage? Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, he's died to me in green, though. Like, in green and blue. Because I know you can do it like this, where, like... Damn it. I, there's, a, there's a timing to it. I know that for sure. There, there it is. So there's, there's a timing of when you let go of side B to when you can then, like, let go and press forward air to, like, hit them if they DI a certain way. Um... Don't know for sure what it is though, Milo knows all those secrets. Yeah, you're DIing out, so I'm just getting I'm getting uh maybe if I drifted in more, that would be the confirm, but Damn it! <laughs> it's good that you it's good that you should know how to survive them anyway though. Yeah, you have to be careful of those side B options. I mean, if, if you wanted to talk to Milo, um, he is the one that has like basically perfected that particular uh, aspect of the game. His, his side B setups are the most complex out of any Earth player I've seen because he focuses almost entirely on side B. So. <laughs> He's the one that did the Hellovator and then got it nerfed because it used to be able you, you can fast fall this. Or like you can fast fall it like off the side with with fat like with, with this, you can fast fall it a bit. But uh he's the master of that particular thing. I mean if you wanna practice doing like side B stuff against me, I'm willing to try to get out of them as you try to do confirms. Okay, sure. No problem. So I'll stand here. Then you can- I'll try to get out. Yeah, so I held out there. Yeah, holding out might actually be really good. I don't know if that's just the, the, the good thing to do. Oh, 
Oh, nice. <laughs> See, if I try to DI inwards, that's when you can hit me with the down air. I was do holding out that entire time. If I hold in at any time and you down air me, I just die. Out is the optimal, but that's why Milo and other Erta players, if they're just going to DI out, like try to DI out. Like try to DI out when I do this. That that's why they've been using this. Or, you know, whatever. <laughs> You might be able to do, uh, hold on, let me see if I can do this. Ah! You beat me with side B there. I thought you could do down B. You might be able to do down B on other characters. Maybe not other Urtas, but... Oh no, Meaty Hook, I'm willing to keep going past 12. If you still have more questions to ask, I'm willing to go for a little bit. Like, I, I don't have super strict schedules for, like, that. Is there a way I can live when grabbing when grabbing down there? That depends. Hold on, let me see if I can... If you suicide somebody, it depends. I think there might be a way to do it where you can, like, I would say the biggest thing is just trying to, uh, if you like, if you get those cargo grabs that like let you kill them, a very important thing to do is to spark after it because it will refresh your, your, uh, your ability to recover. There was a glitch. Why not do the cargo grabs? I think cargo grabs are, uh, are, there might be a glitch right now, actually, that makes it so you can't spark, like, uh, out of, or, you know, get a refresh on stuff. I, I, I forget what the exact glitch is, but, um, I don't think it's involving... <laughs> grab you. Oh, I could hardly grab that. Oh, am I pressing it wrong? There we go. Damn. I just killed. So yeah, if you go really deep, like, sometimes... Damn it! <laughs> Enough burst, I couldn't burst that. I think cargos like should just get you the resources like back, but whoops. <laughs> if I grab you at the bottom, how do I not die? Uh, all right. Well, hmm. player one wins. What grab? Because there are some, like some of the grabs will let you just grab the person, and then if you press down on the cargo grab, you don't really go anywhere, but you slam them downwards. So 
the most likely scenario in that case is just that you would want to just throw them down. And then you can spark out of it. Um, yeah, so if you get a, any grab, you want a cargo grab, but then you want to press like cargo grab down in that situation because down grab and cargo throw doesn't really send Urda anywhere, but it sends the opponent down, like it spikes them. So if you're looking for the best cargo throw that doesn't really move Urda anywhere and puts her at the best state to not like accidentally die, uh, then down throw is probably the best, uh, the down throw cargo is probably the best variation. Back throw is really good if you're trying to reset it for an up B like re-grab. Um, forward throw is kind of sucky for cargo throws. And then I don't even, I think up throw might be underestimated. I don't see anyone use it, but here, let me. Do I just press L then down? Um... You, if you grab somebody, you have to press L the instance that you grab them, and then press L and down. So like, Three, two, um, rush. it would be like, yeah, like, I'm when I do that, I'm just, if you look at my buttons, like this is literally what I'm doing. Like, so you can press rush as many times as you want during that, as long as, you know, Oh, I did forward, so that might not have been the right option. Damn, I try to save you. <laughs> um, so you. There's a period where, um, to best explain it, okay. Uh, is the way that you're trying to do these car. You the way you want to try to do these cargo throws, is. You throw, right? So you grab, and then you press R in a direction, and then you press uh, a direction again. So... And then I accidentally held forward there. So what I want to do is... Down, and then down. So, forward, then down. So I don't think that, um... Yeah, okay, so you only have to press R the first time. So it's... it's Grab, press the direction with... R, and then press the direction that you want to throw them. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, 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 that's not the one I was thinking of. Up, 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 uh, cargo throw is really good at the top exclusively, but, uh, the one I'm looking at, the one that nobody uses, try cargo, doing cargo throw neutral, for example. So I'll do this. Yeah, so... I think you can spark out of it. Is there no spark on that, or am I crazy? You can't! That is not intentional. That's totally not intentional. Wow, I have to tell Keiko about that. That's completely unintentional. You're supposed to be able to spark out of that. Huh. No wonder I don't see people using neutral throw. What? No! Uh, I'm saying you can't spark, yeah, so like... I can do this, but I can't spark out of it. At the end. You can do it with the neutral version on the regular one, not in the air though. That's weird. I've never, never experienced that. I mean, I mean, I never even knew that. Cause that would be such a good cargo throw, like for like setups, if you could do it. I know if you get the the. Oh, that's the uh, that's the aerial version. I mean, that's the ground version. If you get an aerial version of side B, though, uh, I don't know if there's a way to do ne the neutral with that. Um, I think it's the knee, but you don't get it very so often. So you can run off cargo down down. You can get a better position to punish. 
No, 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 animatrix. I know that. What I was saying was, I know you can spark. I know you can. Okay, I'm doing a tutoring session, dude. <laughs> um, I'm saying that you can't get Car Throw, rush forward, and then do the neutral version without, like, with sparking. That version. Like, so you can do neutral grounded oh, okay. side B, but you can't do neutral, uh, like, you can do that and then do this, but. It's so weird to me that you can't do the aerial version. Um, oh, also, how are they invincible out of a cloud? You mean the, the spawn platform? How long? Oh, okay. Um, so the person is invincible for a short amount of time when they have that yellow thing around them. So it's like five seconds or something like that. Yeah, and then it goes away. I think it goes away faster if they attack. So if I don't attack, I have it for longer. But then if I come off the platform and then attack right away, I, I lose it a little faster, I'm pretty sure. Or at least that, that's what I was th at least that's what I'm aware it's supposed to be doing. So I would just say you have to wait a just like just wait until they stop glowing yellow, and then you know they're they're not invincible anymore. But I don't remember the exact time rate. Ah, oh, damn. Bob's in red. Oh yeah, Meaty, Meaty, uh, shield is better now, so you can actually, like, grab people if they pressure your shield at this point. Oh, shit. <laughs> I would say that the one thing that uh, you definitely want to keep track of is just like where you are in, in, in uh, comparison to the stage. I want you to do the shield grab. So wait, are you asking me? Okay, so do you know, Mini Hook, do you know about counter grab? Okay, so for example, 
I want you, I'm going to go at you with side B right now. Hold your grab button when I do this, okay? All right, let's try it again. So I'm gonna do it. Just, just keep doing that. I mean, I'm freaking messing up the timing for you. I'm sorry. Just wait until I start to do this and then do it. Like, time it. That's called counter grab. If somebody tries to grab you, while you're grabbing, you can hold the button, and then you'll grab them, instead of them grabbing you. So if I side... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it only works with grabs, though, so just be careful, because parry otherwise works with everything else. But anything that parry wouldn't parry, a counter grab will be, basically, for the most part. Unless it's a hit grab, in which case you just don't have to get hit by it. Or you can parry it anyway, so. Um, you can, so like, let me try, so try holding it again. I'll try it again, let me just, let me make sure I can do this. When I was grabbing you there, I'm just tapping it. I'm not holding it. So I don't know how long you have to be holding it for it to be considered a counter grab, but I'm, that's, I'm like, you can also slide with it too. So, you can do that. If you, yeah, if you do the grab right when you rush, you can slide with it. Yeah, there you go. See? <laughs> You can also, um, something that's also really cool is, if you don't, do you know, uh, do you use keyboard, by the way, Meanie? Or do you use a controller? I'm trying to show you this one tech, because you can do tech, that you can do a tech, um, oh yeah, no problem. There's a tech coming out in the new controller patch that's going to be way easier to do. If you walk forward, or you dash forward, and press, like, the half moon back, like, in another direction, you can do something called a moonwalk, which I'm trying to do right here. But it's gonna become a lot easier to do, um, once, like, Joe puts his controller patch in. So it's gonna be way easier, but what you can do is you can use a moonwalk to run forward, dash backwards, and then slide almost the entirety of the stage with a, like, with a tilt. And that's gonna be super good. But, like, the ba it's the basically the same thing with, like, you can do, uh... Yeah, that. You can do that. <laughs> you can turn around, grab, and slide. So, like, that. Which is really good, because if somebody's, like, so for example, uh, try to shield. Try to shield in my direction. Oh, I think you can even do this. Hold on. When you were asking about blue setups earlier, um, I think this is a blue setup. Oh, that was wrong. I, I, I didn't spark cancel it. Uh, nah, it's hitting you too far now. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not in training mode, but I think what you can do is you can do down throw into, like, either up tilt or, or just another grab, is what I was trying to say. So you think you can do... No, wait, I might be wrong. So it might actually be this. There it is. Okay, so what you want to do is down throw, jab, then do another grab. Oh, did you get disconnected? Or did you want us to go back? To... Yeah, training. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> That's fine. I figured it'd be easier in training anyway. But yeah, as you as you've noticed, I am literally like a walking Wikipedia of the most useless technology in this video game. Okay? <laughs> just like the most niche stuff. I just like I'm like, oh yeah, you can totally do this for no reason. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I'm just like weird wacky knowledge guy. But like being able to slide grab is actually really good in some situations. Because like, look how much distance you can get with it. Although I'm not doing it correctly all the time, but... The reverse grab is strong because it grabs behind when it's not safe. Yeah. But the cool thing is if you slide with it, you can counter grab without like having to necessarily commit by sitting there. So if somebody tries to grab you when you're sliding grab like that, you will actually beat them out. So hold on, let me try doing that with you when you do when I do side B. Try to actually, or you could try to do it either or. Uh, but let me try to. Oh, here, let me do this. Right there. So let, let's try doing this. Um. Damn. Okay, that 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 can't do up tilt there. It's too. It's too. Uh, it's too far away. All right. So I think you can only do it once before it won't let you connect it again. But that's like a basic throw reset combo. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Yeah. So if they're if they're going backwards. Alright, cool. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll try to I'll try to DI out for ya. I'll I'm just gonna be DIing out. Uh here, let me reset my health when you whenever you mess up. My bad. So you're gonna do you're gonna do regular grab, right? Re you're gonna start off with regular grab, and you're doing down throw, into jab, into re-grab, into down throw, into f up tilt, into like forward air, into, you know, all the rest. But let's try doing that first section first a little more. Um, try just doing down, th regular, like, just grab, down throw, into jab, into down throw again. Oops. <laughs> no, it's fine. So, you want to, uh, so what you can do... Yeah, there, 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 you're getting it. That was really good. So yeah, you wanna you wanna rush. So basically, you're rushing in place to spark reset yourself. So you're doing down. You're doing. Yeah, there you go. It doesn't work after the the second time though. So you won't, can only really do it once. But or just like it's a it's a tech option, obviously. So. Um. What I did, what I ended up doing, let me try it again. Let me, let me, let me just redo it. Make sure I can do it consistently, because that was pretty good. Um, do we do... Ah, oh, I messed it up. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna do, uh... Down throw... Yeah, it doesn't necessarily always do it perfectly, but it's pretty good. Ah! You have to be careful how you do the grab reset, though, otherwise you can whiff it. You have to wait a second, otherwise, because the, there's, like, hit stun, there's hit stun scaling you have to wait for. Or whatever the case may be. I think it's called, uh, it's just you can't grab somebody when they're in hit stun. That's just the thing. So it's, like, almost like a reset. That does work. That's a really good damaging combo. I think you can do... Actually, let me try this. You can do side B. Um, side B. No, I'm just messing this up. 
I'm accidentally cargo throwing it. Alright, so that's something you can do. So what you're going to want to do is, for this, you're just doing um, regular cargo throw without doing hitting a direction. Oh no, regular side view without hitting a direction. You spark this. Oh. Can I do? I can do that. Okay. So... Ooh, that was almost really good. Sorry, I I'm just not doing the combos that I'm trying to show you. There you go. So you're basically just check tech check chasing tech chasing. You can do it a little faster than that to do it true. Um, it just yeah, it just comes down to speeding up uh, like your cancels. Like what the biggest the biggest thing that's going to break you through to like getting into way more comfortable territory for just doing stuff into other stuff is just practicing how fast you can do this. Like, just practicing how fast you can hit Spark, and then convert off of it, and then continue doing it. Uh, so, Meaty, do you know, um, do you know all the different ways that you can Spark cancel in this game? Do you know like the different types? Okay, so there are th there are I believe three different types of spark cancels that you can do um, at any time as long as you have spark. The first variation of that is just the normal rush spark. That's when you spark and then like immediately rush afterwards like that. You can do it in place as well if you just don't want to move anywhere. You can spark in place to continue combos that way. Um, you can spark forward, obviously, to follow up like that, uh, spark in any direction. But the, the other versions is you can do special sparking. So you do normals, special. Normal, and like, it's just like, uh, normal uppy. Like, that kind of stuff. You don't even have to press rush there. You can literally just press the special button and it'll cancel into it. So that makes these that makes a lot of these conversions a lot easier. Because you don't have to worry about spark canceling like rush doing whatever. You know, you can do whatever into whatever. So you don't even have to worry about rushing. So like you can just like that's how you can do this. You can do instant jab into down B. That's like the most basic combo you can do with Erda, is just jab into down B. But um, the other type, the other type of spark canceling that uh, not a lot of people know about is you can do jump, just normal jump canceling. So you can jump out of, like instead of instead of like just doing the spark with rush, you can just do jump out of out of whatever. But you just have to have that jump otherwise. And then the last variation of that is just super jump, which is, you know, as super jump is goes, it just just spark. And you do rush and jump at the same time. You can only do super jump when you have spark though. Otherwise you can't do it. And those are all the options you can do spark with that makes up the combo tree. Player two. Win. Like, so 
a lot of people think that when they start out, you can only do spark canceling rush. That is so untrue, and it's a misconception. And once you learn to get past that misconception, the game opens up so much bigger. How's the because, training going? Because now, instead of making every combo require normal into rush, into special, into another rush, into another attack, it's literally made your combos way shorter. Because you can do attack into special, into attack into special, into like jump into. You know, whatever you can think of doing. But all those different variations it make your it makes your combo game a lot stronger. It's just like there's a lot of possibility. Just in general. With the game, I think. That just makes up like the combo tree and everything like that. What is your what if you're a different character? Okay, so what characters do you specifically want to know about comboing? Because there are a few different quote-unquote types of characters in this game, and they affect how you combo them differently. The gun person? Okay, so Raymer. Alright, so Raymer fits in the same category as Afi and Galu, or Galu. Fits in the same category as Galu, Ezzy, Raymer, um... Who else is it? I think that's it. I think that's it besides maybe, uh... No, 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 no. Uh, Zurong also fits that category, too. So, they're, they're what are considered, like, floaties. So they drift farther depending on, like, you know, them getting hit. But they also die earlier. Um, so... And then the other characters would be considered like midweights, so Weishan would be that, I think Erdo would be considered that. And then when you get to fast fallers, we're talking about Ashani, we're talking about Kid, we're talking about Afi, we're talking about um, any character that has fast gravity. And those are the three types you need to learn. So if you normally combo Erda, Erda's is a normal combo character. She's like Weishan, she has normal weight, she's a heavyweight though, so you can combo her pretty easily because of how big she is. Um, Raymer is a little harder to combo because he's light and he can use his rush to get out of combo strings because he's thin. Um, and then the fast fallers, like those all types of weights usually require you to know how to combo those specific, like, types of weights. I, I don't know how to say it other than that. You, you bas basically you combo them differently. Is there a way I can combo the speed guy to death? Or can they only do it against me? Oh no, you can combo anyone to death. That you, there are no characters in this game that you cannot combo. Like, there are no characters that make it so that, oh yeah, Erda's combo game doesn't work anymore. There just are different ways you have to do it. So hold on, let me leave training for a second. Uh, I wish we had CPUs. I could add a CPU? Like a dummy? But let me see if that'll actually, like, work out correctly. Um... This is in training, so I should be able to... Let me see if I can turn off the AI. There we go. Okay. So, I wish I could have chosen which character this was. Uh, cause I would have chosen anyone other than Weishan. <laughs> I would have chosen the Shani, I would have chosen Kid, I would have chosen literally anyone. Um, frick. But... The whole thing with fast followers about, like... Okay, here, let me switch over to, uh... I'm sorry, I keep making you leave the, the lobby. I'll, I'll switch over to a character that you want to learn the combo 
this round. And then, um... The grab combo. Okay. Um, no problem, but I don't know if that combo necessarily works on, uh, other weights, for example. Because that particular combo was just, I think it was just down throw into jab into down throw reset into up tilt, forward air, forward air if they're drifting out. It can work on other characters, but... Catch them with forward air. I... Jump and rush at the same time when you have spark is, is super jump. Super jump's what you want to start using when you're at orange percentages because... Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. That, that reminds me. I need to show you some OD some OD stuff right now, because you can do this to most characters in the game, and it's pretty silly. Um, what what this lets you do. Because you can throw somebody. So, if I do this... Whoops, that was the wrong throw. My bad. Um... Yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> you can charge it, too, to even, like, zoom with it. So... Yup! <laughs> There's that! I completely forgot about that until now. Uh, down throw, literally super jump, charge your down air, it'll kill most people. Like, at any, like, freaking time. That's what you also want to start practicing, is orange is where you want to start using super jumps. Because those will be- those will be what let you convert off of, uh... And to a lesser degree in red as well, super jumps let you do that. Because they let you go a little farther. I'm just fast falling unnecessarily, that's why I'm messing it up. But... Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, you almost, you did a boomerang there. Okay, so there's that, that, what you did right there, that weird super jump is what we, what we like to call a boomerang super jump. If you, uh, I can do that throw comp. No, it's not side B, it's down throw. So I'm doing regular throw, down throw, super jump forward, charging down air, and then doing that. So you, I will, what I do is I throw you. Sure, sure, sure. You want to down throw and then press jump rush. Yeah, press jump and rush after for the spark at the same time and move forward. Do it when like that instance, like as soon as, as soon as you hit me on the ground. You almost got it there. Oh yeah, there you go. You almost got it. Now you just have to practice doing it uh, immediately. Because you can do it as soon as you hit them. So like, for example, let me show you what I mean by that. The timing on this is a lot more, is a lot like easier than uh, it seems. So you see how I canceled it right at that instance at the end right there? As soon as I hit them, I can I can spark cancel with super jump out of it. Spark literally yes, rush plus jump. And you have to hold forward to super jump forward too. So you need to you're holding to do this, to do this, I'm pressing jump rush and holding forward at the same time. Oh that was almost that was that was jump rush. I mean that was jump spark. That's still easily, like, viable. Just not as viable, but... Because that... Like, if I DI it, then, then I can get out of it. Sorry. Okay. 
do it at like the edge here so you can properly try to do it. I feel like I'm missing a lot. So, what are you pressing when you do that? I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what, 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 uh, what's the, like, what's causing you the, the problem. So I can see your inputs. I just press grab, and after grab, I wait for the super thumb. Okay, so, so here's the thing. There is no super, quote unquote, super jump timing. So, for example, I press it. The earliest, so like, watch, watch what my button inputs say. Like, look at my button inputs for a second and watch what happens. I can do this, but... Yeah, you do both at once. I'm sorry, was I unclear on that? My bad. My bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Uh, you have to press all of those at the same time. Like, it's jump plus rush. Literally jump plus rush. And with a direction. Ooh, you did hyper off there. So this... Oh, this is something else you could really use. You know how to use hyper up, right? So hyper hop is like super jump, but without having to require spark. If you press, <laughs> if you press down, if you hold down and press jump and rush at the same time, this is a hyper hop. And then you can. You can also charge aerials when you're doing it too, so you can do. So why is it doing- it's turning red on my end for you. I don't know why it's not doing it. Maybe I need to map- remap my keys. I- no, I see red inputs though. I see doing rush jump. I don't understand why it's not working. Why is it red inputting? What settings- do, wait, let me check- let me check your settings for a second. I- I need to see what's going on here. Uh, I'm gonna try to look on your stream for a second. You might have some weird setting on or something. I don't know. Oh, you got it? Yeah, there you go. You're doing it now. You got it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Good job. That's what we were looking for. So now you're trying to try to do that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. Good job. Wait, let me put let me put the let me let me put it on so you can keep practicing. Great, awesome, good job. So that's basically a true confirm if I'm an orange. Even if I DI out or I DI in, like, you know, I, I can still get hit by it. Sorry, I didn't reset the health yet. <laughs> oh! Meathook, do you know about do you know about the down air thing? If you hit with Erda down air on the ground, it it will it will hard bounce. So you can hit somebody and then continue a combo with it because they can't they don't they can't tech when you do that. 
the first time. So she actually has a hard knockdown on down air, on down air in general. That lets you combo when you're coming down from the air. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, what you're doing right there is, is is what's considered a boomerang super jump. So I was trying to tell you earlier, um, when you do those, uh, basically what you're doing is you're jumping in one direction, but then twisting back around. So let me show you this. So you can, you can jump in any direction with super jump. You can jump forward. You can jump upwards instead. But then that's hyper op, so like that's a little different. But um, yeah, see. But then if you do it, yeah, that 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 is what you want to do. <laughs> that you found it. You found you found the best part about it. I always do it accidentally a lot, so how do I control it? Um, you're wanting, what you want to do is you want to hit the direction you're trying to do it in at the same time as pressing rush and jump. So you're basically hitting all three inputs at the same time when you press it. Yeah, isn't it? Um, simple grabs. Hmm, especially cargo throws. Let me see. Not so much regular grabs. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. So, let's see what all we can get. Three, two, one, rock. Alright, let me see about what. So that might be another place that you can use uh, super jump is if you use cargo throws but that's a regular grab so let me try doing the cargo grabs practice orange all right so you can't super jump in the air by the way so if you want a cargo throw, you're probably going to want to stay on the ground, or... Oh yeah, the down throw, that's right, it's so powerful. So do you just want a simple 1-2? Like a 1-2 punch kind of thing? Oh, I know another one! I know another one! I know another one that, that we can do for you. That's great. Okay, so here, this one's pretty good. Whoops, I did it wrong. Let me, uh... <laughs> there you go. You just have to angle it correctly, but... You can do it with basically any move, if you, if you aim it correctly. With down tilt. But, I mean, I'm not doing it in... I mean, I can do it... Uh, you want to try to do super... I think boomerang super jumps pretty good in that scenario. Um, let me try boomerang super jump. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I guess that is something else you could do too. You can do, uh... And then you could follow, even follow up after that if you already have the... Yeah, there you go. So you can do this into super jump down air to like bounce them off the ground and then do forward air. I know that's what Starman does all the time. It's super tilting, but uh... 
Yeah, you can do. Yeah, like like that, for example, would be a would be a basic combo. But I'm not good at it, so. <laughs> Try it one more time to show you the basic one. So you can do. Seems like it's not consistent. Yeah, I know. That is what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. Okay, so I think what I just did there was. Let me just make sure I'm doing it again. Yeah. Okay. Let me... There you go. Okay, so what you want to do? is you want to down tilt, super jump, hold back while you're charging forward air to drift backwards. So you're, yeah, there you go. They're perfect. Oh, that was amazing. Fantastic. Mwah. Beautiful. Oh, here, let me reset it. Sorry, I had to reset the health again. That's that's a basic kill confirming orange. So that's... yeah. Does it work against all? Um... It, it will usually work against most characters in orange because despite their weight, um, if they fall even faster, then you can just let go of the button sooner and then they'll just get hit anyway. Floatier characters actually works really good against because, uh, like, they just pop up and they stay in the, the like, the air forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you can do that too. That's a possibility. I think I DI'd wrong there, but that's a tech chase. Although I don't know how often you're getting that tech chase in orange. <laughs> Well, that's definitely that's definitely confirmed that you can get consistent with ah <laughs> nice just be careful yeah because I can still be eye out of it One, the one thing you might have to look out for is if somebody starts DIing down. Um, that might mess up the confirm a tad, but I don't think it actually makes it any less true. Oops, sorry, I put in the wrong health bar. There we go. Yeah, it's still it's still pretty true. other basic kill confirms I know that oh well no duh there, there, there's this kill confirm too I mean I don't know if it necessarily st oh no it's only in red that's right okay so if you really need to kill somebody in red and you can't kill them in red with Erdo 4 you could just 
That works against every character in the game. Literally kills every character in the game. Compared to aerials? Um, I mean, it shouldn't be risky much longer because soon, uh, they're actually going to buff that move so that it has upper arm invincibility. Which means that if anything swats at you in the air, the grab will just beat it out. So, like, that's not in the game yet, I don't think, but it's going to be coming. Now here, let me just put it on red just to let you try to get that. So it's just... You don't have to... By the So all you're doing is pressing jab and then pressing down B immediately. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's not the prettiest kill confirm ever, obviously, but it, it's a kill confirm if you need it, if you absolutely need one. Also, obviously, any regular grab with Erda does it, but jab is just really fast. Uh, any normal throw with Erda is just gonna kill him in red regardless, but... Oh, maybe it's just forward throw. I don't know. I know forward throw does that pretty regularly. Let me think if there's any more kill confirms I can think of off the top of my head that Erda has. They're really good. Um... Besides forward air Player stuff, one. I mean, there's just those basic things. How can I kill confirm blocking with shields? So you have the best- the, I would say Urda has one of the bigger advantages when she's in shield because right now they made it so that aerials are worse on shield. Teach her cyclone the stuff. only time that you want to, like, necessarily, like, Three, two, one, rush. So, for example, put up your shield. Put up your shield for me, please. Now, just try grabbing at it. Yeah, so... That's that's definitely one of your safer options. Um, Sorry, I'm hitting you behind the, the shield, but... So, like, I'm gonna try to apply pressure, and you just, you know, grab me... Like, you can just grab me out of that. If you're quick enough. I mean, I have to hit your shield and spark it, but it should have end lag to it. Does shield run out? Yes, so currently shield is five hits, and anytime you hit somebody, it refreshes a charge on the shield. Um, there's talks of making shield unlimited, which I personally am a fan of, because I don't think that the limited shield is necessary, especially when the shield isn't necessarily the most strong option in this game already. So we might get unlimited shielding, might not, but right now it is five hits if when it's at max health. And it either slowly recharges over time or it comes back every single time you hit somebody. It gets a hit back or something like that recharges based on when you hit somebody. Uh, currently there is not a real way to, to try to um, track them other than your shield health will like, for example, like you know, my shield doesn't look the best right now. So, like, it's red. So the more, the weaker the shield is, the redder it gets until you break it like that. And it resets once you break it. But breaking the shield in this game doesn't really do anything. Other than just, like... But here, how about we try this? You try attacking me a whole bunch, and I'll try to, uh... To like use shield to like let me just get refresh on shield real quick. 
So let's try, uh, let me try to lay on the ground first. <laughs> so yeah, try to try. Ah. Alright. So, shield is weak against strong moves. So the longer you charge an aerial and hit it on shield, the safer the aerial is going to be on shield. When you hit me, also, did you notice that when you hit me, my shield changes color? Like, so... That, that shows you how safe the move is. So if you hit my shield and it's red, that means you are safer than I am. I can't do anything to punish you when you, when you hit my shield and it turns red. When it turns orange, that means that you're sort of safe, but I can still possibly punish you for doing it. Green means that you are super unsafe, but even then, even if a move is safe like that, I can still grab you out of it because Urza's gra grab range is massive. I genuinely think the best thing you can do in shield, if you're trying to just use shield as an offensive, or like, in offense, is just wait for them to try to use a move that like is unsafe on the shield, and then yeah, do something like that. Or like grab them, or whatever the case may be. Can you just aggressive hit- okay, yeah, sure. Uh, let me- let me reset health and I'll do that again. So yeah, you see how those moves, like, turn different colors? Actually, this is- Oh no! No, I'm wrong, aren't I? Huh. So, because jab's green, because I guess it means it's safe for the offender. I thought it was the opposite. I'm sorry, because so, like, that would mean that- Yeah, that's- you, that, So, I was wrong. It looks like if you hit shield right now, and it's a- not a move you should be hitting shield with, it turns either like yellow or red. While green is it is that you're safe. I think they're changing it to the opposite way so that it makes more sense, but right now it looks to be like, oh yeah, if it's a safe move then it's green, if it's not then it's orange, or you know, if it's, it's yellow, if it's even unsafer then it's supposed to be red, but you know, Urda's forward air is pretty like, silly, so. Can you avoid that grab? Okay. So important thing to note, you can spark grounded moves on shield, but you can't spark, you don't get spark from aerials. So if I hit you on shield with a grounded move, I automatically get spark and I can spark out of it to like cancel it. But if I do it to an aerial I don't have spark, I can't spark that. So, like, if I land that, you can... Yeah. There you go. There, there you go. So, if you, see a, if you see a red thing, you can grab somebody for doing that. That's a basic way of just doing punching, but they can also fake you out like that. <laughs> see, what I did there was I, I jabbed and then grabbed you. But I can also jab, counter grab as well. But, yeah, see? However, I can also do stuff like, 
Um... Yeah, I can try to mix up your, your shield as well. I mean, personally, that's what I want them to do the most, is just to make it so that I can I, you have to do cross-ups like that. Because right there, you were shielding. I was just, I just mixed you up so I could try to get behind your shield. And I think that's the best direction they should take it, is by making it so that you have to mix up your pressure to get behind the shield and to be able to hit them. It's because the way it works is if I'm mixing up my shield pressure correctly and I'm spacing it, uh, you can't punish me for hitting you. But if I do it unsafely and try to do it two inches away from you, you should be able to punish me. That's the idea behind the shield pressure, at least. And then the strongest way you can punish somebody in defense is just by parrying, because you can parry at any time at a shield. If you just press down when you're shielding, it just automatically goes parry, so... Oh, I need to check something. Let me check if uh, this is... Oh, nice! Okay, so if you, right now, I think they just patched this in most, like, recently. If you shield on a platform and then press B while you're shielding, it lets you drop through the platform. Pretty, pretty instantly. So now you have a way to get through, uh, and you can do just like Nair, whatever, like that. <laughs> or you can do, so make sure you actually do use that, that's very useful because it, it gives you an option that like lets you safely jump down through platforms now. But yeah, like I said, there's a lot of tech that we, we just don't. <laughs> uh, did you have any other questions for me that you wanted to ask me right now? Because it is 1 a.m., so I do actually have to be heading off soon because I have to be up and at work by 9.30 tomorrow morning. Sure, no problem. You can check something. I notice I can keep grabbing on platform there. Yeah, so, um... Yes. So, for example, Erda, when somebody has to tech on a platform at, against Erda, there are not... Um, the only option that they can contest forward air like with is tech attack. Because that's the only invincible option they have that puts out a hitbox that knocks Three, two, it out. One, so, if I... Like, for example, if someone, like, hits you up here, um, and they, like, you know, try to... Like, let me try to... What's the simplest way I can make you... So, now here, let me try... Whoops. Uh... Dang it, I can't knock it back. I wonder if I can do... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have the same idea that I did. So you can do that. Oh my! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! That works! How does that work? How does that work? Oh, I need it.
<laughs> nice. Oh, it was really good. Yeah, so that, that that's something silly that you can do if you grab somebody with uh, with the aerial version of that and and just hold out like hold in basically uh, not hold in hold out I guess would would be the the version that cracks the spine is the not that one where's the Hold on, let me... Cause this is a funny tech. Damn it, I'm just trying to do the, the reset. So the reason that uh, that tech works though is because the platform's so tiny. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. I wanted to do that silly combo I did earlier. Although that was more... Oh, that's... I was wondering what was going on there. So let me try something, actually. Let me, let me see if there's a simple combo I can do. Um... That you might like just be able to do pretty easily uh let's do any hmm oh well here let's do this that's pretty easy uh yeah so that does a lot of damage <laughs> yep that that does uh what, 41 damage? That's like one of the most basic side B confirms that you can do. And it's true. And it does like 41 damage off of two buttons. <laughs> Oh, the goat and okay, yeah. So, 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 goat and totem fall too fast. If you're going to do something against them, most likely what you're going to have to do off of side B is no, they just fall fast. You have to do so you have to do side B into up tilt. Otherwise, they won't stay in the air. So you can actually just do this. Maybe this might work on every character. Actually, let me just make sure. Um, I, I think you have to do it this way for fast fallers, where you do side B up tilt into down B. Oh, you can just do it. Okay, cool. That does that does 50 damage. That does 50 damage right now. What was the Let me see about the yeah, so side B. So all I'm doing there is side B sparking into up tilt into down B. Oh, that was good. So you're trying to find different confirms off of this string, or...? <laughs> ah. Held out. Yeah, it might not work on holding out for a light character like this. Damn. 
Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Can I? Okay, I was, th I was thinking maybe I can chase that one in the tech side B. If somebody is above you though and you want to deal a lot of damage, uh, obviously down B is just really good that does 30 damage, but... Oh! Um, base- okay, so me- me- before I go for tonight, let me- let me show you something else. This down air is super good for combo convert like combo starting because it does a hard knockdown and it's really big and you can come down on people like that you can come in like because you can hit someone yeah like this <laughs> Or, you know, something similar to that. But yeah, um... This is all just basic stuff that I've learned over, like, playing this game for, like, 700, 600 hours, so... Yeah. I feel that some move is really dangerous in comparison to others, like the back or forward. I know it looks nice. Yeah. No, I can understand that. Honestly, like, I, I don't really have everything that's, uh... Oh, yeah. But yeah, um... Did you, I got... I guess I'll ask, like, do you have any other questions that you, like, wanted me to answer? Otherwise, I would recommend that you, you talk to House or Starman, because they will be able to get into the nitty-gritty for, like, the combo game, and, like, what moves you should be using in neutral, and, like, how you beat certain characters, and, like, what combo strings you use on kids, or, like, you know, kid and offy, and, like, stuff like that. Uh, there is no purpose. It just whiffs. It's an anti-air grab. The grounded version only hits people in the air. And then the aerial version hits people below her. I mean, yeah, I can understand what you're saying. But, like, that's its specific function, it's just it's an anti-air grab. <laughs> it, like, it, that's that's just the way that, that, that anti-air grabs work in fighting games, I would say. That's just the thing that has come from fighting games, is that anti-air grabs can't hit grounded opponents even if they're touching them. That just is the way it is. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I was able to, to, I'm glad I was able to, to, to give you some knowledge. Um, yeah, so House XL and Starman are the two you're going to look at. Um, but otherwise you can look for anyone in the, um, in the Rushdown Discord that has, uh, a Metify coach role. And, uh, different coaches, you know, charge different things for, for their services. I don't know if any of the other coaches are charging for their lessons right now. I was making all mine free because I'm just starting out to do coaching. Uh, so I just want to get booked, basically. Um, but feel free to book me again if you need like specific character matchup knowledge. Like I've been telling people I know Ezzy and Kid, which are two characters that nobody else plays. So I know matchups for each character and like what you can do as each character to beat those characters and stuff like that. But 
if you're looking for a base, I would recommend you just go to an Urda coach and be like, hey, I'm trying to learn all these things with Urda. But I'm glad I was able to do a session with you tonight to, like, teach you some, some very basic Urda stuff that I knew. Because those were, like, those confirms were what you seemed to be looking for. For your, your combo game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm glad I was able to get those for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um... Do you care if I... I said before I head out, do you care if I shill for your stream? Real quick? Alright, thank you so much. Alright, guys, on Meaty Hook stream, thank you so much for... for listening to me talk for a solid hour more than that two hours we did two hour session all my one hour sessions turn into two hour sessions but if you guys want to learn from me if you guys have any character knowledge or things you want to learn about the game specifically i have a lot of useless technology rolling around in my head and you can find me at metafy uh i think it's metafy.gg slash uh buckle supreme but you guys can uh get me for lessons and my Twitch is the same thing, is is Buckle Supreme. Uh yeah, twitch.tv slash buckle supreme. So actually, before I go, let me do this. Um, thank you guys so much on my stream for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, but we are going to be doing this since it is end of stream night for me. Keiko! Raid me earlier, I'm just gonna to, to, to go ahead and return the favor. So there you go, meat hook. <laughs> Meaty hook. And um if you I'm going to be uploading the session to my YouTube as well. So if you need to look at it and like find different things from the session, I can give you a link to that later as well. So let me just add another thing to my my markers. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to catch me for coaching, you can do that uh, anytime. I'm also in the Rushdown Revolt Discord. I'm glad I was able to give you a raid. Uh... And otherwise, you have a nice night, okay? It was- it was absolutely lovely. I hope that we can do a col- some- some collaborations though soon.